Welcome back to Freedom Diggers Metal Detecting. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any content. And of course, hit that bell icon in the top right so you can get notified when I come out with new content. Speaking of new content, this is the video that I promised the last time I put out full length content. How to use historic aerials so that you can check out sites that have potential. So when you log on, you're going to get these choices right here. I like this one better. The one that says viewer. And you're going to see this screen right here. This is the screen you'll see if you haven't subscribed to them. It's like 39 bucks a month to subscribe. They give you a break for a yearly. That's a lot of money in my opinion. For something you can use for free. If you're willing to put up with you know, some writing across the screen which you'll see in a minute so let's go ahead and i want to put in an address on here of a spot that has some interesting stuff and you just type her in and you hit the go button so it's going to show you a generic map of the site you want to look at. What you do is you choose aerials and a variety of years that there are aerial photos available for will pop up. And you'll find that wherever it is you're looking at, a certain year is going to have the best, clearest photos. So click around and pick the year you know, that you think is going to work good. If it doesn't look good, just back out. Just click a different year. In my area, 1964 seems to have produced the best ones. So here's this particular area in 1964. So you're going to want to know where the roads are now. In that case, you're going to come up here to overlays. And you're going to click on that. And you're going to select roads. And if you'll see, I'll zoom in for you. Now we have all of our roads that exist now superimposed over how this area looked in 1964. Doesn't look like much right now. I'm going to swing over here to a nearby area where there was a lot of changes. So, I'll zoom in even more. If you look here, you're going to see there's like a barn, a few buildings, there's a house here. Now watch this. We'll go back to aerials. And now we're going to show you what it looks like pretty close to now. And you're going to be amazed. There's ball diamonds there. There's a park. Over here, there's a man-made pond. Now, this particular area is of some note to me. Watch this. Here's this area in 64. Look at that. Barn, houses. There's actually another house right here. So... The area has changed. Pond isn't there anymore. Look, we'll zoom out some. Now you can see what the whole area looked like. And if you look, all the yellow is all the park roads that are there now. There's one over here. This one actually goes around the man-made pond, which I'll show you now. See? There it is. So let's say you wanted to go to this spot, Metal Detect, and you wanted a much clearer idea of where all those buildings are, where they were at on the land. What you can do is you can go to your older photo and you can click on this here where it says measure, create a new measurement. And let's see here. Here's the house. Click. 
Now we'll go to the 2012 aerial. Look, see the dot? There's our house. That's where it sits now. Compared to, compared to the land now, that's where the house was. Now let's say you want to figure out, well, how far of a walk is this? All you got to do is say, well, let's say I walked from this entrance road to the park. Let's say I parked there and I wanted to get to where the house was. Bam. If you look over here, 189 feet. We'll zoom in on that for you. Oh, in. Okay, it doesn't zoom in that part of the screen. I don't know if you can see that. But it's 189 feet from the road, which is there now, to where the house used to sit. You can even measure where the house sits to the road. Forty three feet. So you can pinpoint that the house is forty three feet off of the shoulder of the road here and hundred and what was that, eighty or forty some feet from the entrance road. Pretty neat feature. Now I'm gonna show you the topographical maps. Topographicals are handy. A lot of times on here they go back a lot further too. But I'm going to show you the topographical map for this area in 1946. And see, my measurements are still there. My markers are still there. And see that black square? That's where the house was. So let's see. How old is that house? Was it there in 1908? Nope. Was it there in 1917? There was something there. May have been the house. Sometimes the topographical maps are a little bit off when they get older. If you look, it's like closer to the road in this map. So let's see when the house disappeared. 1953. It's there. Shows that drainage ditch running through here too. It's even written on the map, drain. See these two bar, these two, uh, Squares here, these are the outbuildings. Those are, that's like the barn and it might've been a chicken coop or something. A non-filled in square from what I have found out is a building that was like not occupied by people. So let's see, in 71 was the house there? Yep. How about 81? Still there. 89? Still there. 2014, gone. So you know that between 1989 and 2014, that house disappeared. <laughs> That's handy information because it'll give you an idea of what you might find there. Now, house being there that long, there could be a lot of junk on that site. If you find a spot where there was a house from 1908 to 1946, then you know all the activity on that piece of land is older. That's that's a pretty hot spot. This one I call warm. Warm, hot, you know, same thing. I mean, as long as you're not putting your hand on a stove. So, we can go back to aerials. What I like about this too is, is you can like, you can look around. Okay, let's get out of the measuring thing. We'll cancel that. And we'll get that out of there. Now we'll go back to aerials. We can take a little look around the neighborhood with this too. You can drag it. You can drag it and drag it and look around. And you can figure out where other stuff was. I've spent a lot of time on this site looking around, peeking at stuff. Uh, like right here is an interesting one. I used to live in this uh, place here. I'll show you what it is. It's a trailer park. Look at that. Now, check this out. 
here's the same site in, uh, I think it was 1955. It was an airport at the time. This was a small airfield. And you can see with all the roads there, what's there now, but what used to be there. I can't remember the name of this, but it went pretty far back. And you can see one of the runways was running right along here. Oh, it's all propeller planes and stuff like that. But come 1973, well, let's see, is it there in 67? 67, it's still an airfield. Now watch, 73. Boom. Turned into a trailer park. <laughs> so that's a little bit about historic aerials. Um, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more tricks and things. But I figured I'd give you a quick run through of uh, just, you know, some of the easier points on using it. It's great. It's free. If you're willing to put up with all this writing across the screen, it's a good research tool. So drop me a comment and let me know if you've used it before and uh, if it's paid off for you too, you know, if you've ended up on some good sites. In the meantime, keep watching and checking out the content. Tell your friends about us and always dig free or die, dig responsibly, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.